So today I'll be watching videos of animals and trying to guess what Pokemon is based off of that animal. The first video we're checking out is a bunch of tadpoles. Tadpoles are easily one of the cutest, most weird creatures on planet Earth. It's like one of the few things that actually evolves and like it can grow legs. But okay, we need to put on our thinking cap and try to figure out what Pokemon would be based off of a tadpole. I'm trying to think like what, well, like there's Poliwhirl, right? Like that is like one of the creatures that kind of like evolves. Um, What's the pre-evolution of that? Wait a second, guys. Look at this. All right. So I was looking at some different tadpoles and look at it, uh, its stomach. I think that might be a tadpole intestine. That kind of looks like a Poliwhirl. And if you guys think, what is the pre-evolved version of a Poliwhirl? It's a Poliwag. I'm going with Poliwag. It's got to be it. Make sure you guys play along with me. Comment down below what you think the first Pokemon is. All right. Here we go. We're busting it down. Is it a Poliwag? Yes, it's a flipping Poliwag. We did it. That means I I get to catch my very own polywag on my server play it dot if you guys do want to try this out for yourself make sure you join my server using the links in the description of today's video bang baby we got a polywag all right so number two the animal that the pokemon is based on is an axolotl i'm trying to think okay so like what sort of like water salamander lizard type pokemon can i think of so there's a uh, polywag, but we just guessed that. Um, Squirtle is like kind of like it, but it's more like a turtle. There's a uh, mudkip that looks just like uh, like a water salamander axolotl. Uh, there's also like a newer Pokemon called a Sobble that kind of looks like a water lizard. So it could be that. And then there's also one more. I can't really remember what it's called. I think it's like a Quagsire is like the evolved version of it. I could be completely wrong, but I think the pre-evolved version is called uh, a Whopper. No, wait, a Whooper. It's it's a Wooper. It looks just like an axolotl. Okay, I'm gonna go with Wooper. Please tell me I got this right. Come on, come on. No, flip, dude. It was a Mudkip. I can't believe I got that one wrong. For a reference, this is the Pokemon that I was thinking of. Wooper just looks like a knockoff version of Mudkip. Why am I dumb? Number three. I'm kind of just looking inside of an aquarium right now. Okay, wait a second. Whale shark, sharks, fish, stingrays. Uh, okay, so it's either the whale shark or the stingray. I'm gonna just assume that we're looking at the whale shark though. That is the biggest thing in the entire movie that I'm looking at. Okay, so what is a whale shark? Um, there's there's Whalmer, there's Whale Lord, there's uh Kyogre could be one of them. What else could it be, Jack? Think. Use your brain, Jack. Alright, so it, it, yeah, I'm I'm thinking, right? This is what I'm thinking. Hear me out. I don't think it's a whaler or a whelmer or a whale lord because then we would have just looked at a regular whale. This is a whale shark. And I think that Kyogre is technically a whale shark. I'm going to go with it. I really hope I'm not wrong. We're going to go with a Kyogre. Please tell me I'm smart. Oh, yes, I am the smartest man alive. Let's go. And the best part is that means we get to add a Kyogre to my party. Hey, let's go, boys and girls. We got it. I don't have any videos for number four, but I was told to look up a blobfish. Uh, yeah, this this is a blobfish right here. If you guys didn't know, it, it looks like a, 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 a human being's face that is just very droopy. What Pokemon could this be? It is awful. It is terrifying. Its lips look like salami. Think, Jack. Think. Use the, the bellows in your brain. You're going to have to dig deep for this one. Oh, cool. Somebody made blobfish slippers. Oh, I totally want to get these. Oh, dear. Oh, my. Oh, God. Okay. Oh, that is that is gross. All right, Pokemon. Let's uh, let's think about Pokemon and not the fish that I'm looking at. Um, What could a blobfish be? It, uh, it kind of almost honestly looks like the, the Pokemon that's like made up of like sludge and mud um it's a a muck right a muck or is it a grimer i think both of them are like big blobs with like just a face on the blob it could be a fish too like it, it could be a random fish like a sharpedo it could be probably not a tangela right because like that is more like a plant than a blob it could maybe be a lantern even though i think a lantern is more based on like an angler fish which is like the fish that has like the little light bulb that comes off of his head from nemo or it could be a what is it a, a stun fish a, a stun fisk it could be that i don't think it's a fish though honestly i'm gonna go with a, a muck. I really hope it's a muck. Either way, I'm gonna be happy because I no longer have to look at it. All right, let's see. What is it? 
Oh, is it a muck? No, it's not a muck. Are you kidding me? This is a muck. It's the, it's the pre-evolved version, dude. It's a Grimer. I was so close. This thing is 10 times cuter than the blobfish. All right, next up, we are checking out a sloth. Um, yeah, that, yeah, okay, yeah. I, I was curious um, if that was a koala, but no, that is definitely a sloth. They have like huge claws and they like sleep 25 hours a day. It's kind of insane. And they also are just like one of the weirdest looking creatures on planet earth it looks like yoda honestly all right but now we need to uh think about what pokemon could that be what would the pokemon gods try to base this off of i'm thinking all right right so there's isn't there like a sloth pokemon isn't it like the slowest pokemon um like a like a slakoff or a, a a slaking slacking it it's gotta be that right i can't think of anything else that would be this it is it is a real life sloth and a pokemon sloth would have to be a slacking that's my guess i'm gonna go with it i'm running with that please tell me i'm right Right. What? No way! It is a slow poke! I can't believe it! I can't flip and believe it! There's no way! Dude, my guess was better than this! Are you joking? This dude looks more like a panda bear than he does a sloth! Next up is a cicada. These things are the tiniest but like loudest creatures I have ever encountered in my entire life. Like if you find one of these in your neighborhood, the entire neighborhood is on red alert. You can hear them for miles. All right, but what Pokemon would it be? Think, think Jack. All right, it's a bug, right? Let's think of all the bug type Pokemon. So there's like Caterpie, there's Weedle. It would have to have wings though, right? So it, maybe it's a Butterfree, but like a Butterfly is, it, it, that's, that's a Butterfly or a Moth. So it can't be that. A Yanma is more of like a dragon fly, so I'm not gonna go with that as my guess. A Heracross is a beetle. What about, like, a, like, a Ninjask? Is that, right? That's its name. It, like, it has wings, just like a cicada, but it, I don't know if it's, like, a bee, or if it's a beetle, or, like, if it might be a cicada. It's, like, right in, like, the sweet spot, where it could be all three of those. I know that it has wings, though, and it kind of looks like a cicada, so my final guess is a Ninjask. Come on, give me something good. No! No! <laughs> <laughs> For real, I was one off again. It's a Ninkata, which, uh, yeah, or a Ninkata. I'm honestly, I think it might be a Ninkata, but, um, yeah, it, it, this is the pre-evolved version of a Ninjask. So, once again, I was close, but I did not get it. For number seven, I was told to Google search a Raphlesia anoldi, which is a type of mushroom, I think. Or no, it's, it's a it's a flower, right? Is this like the biggest flower in the world? Look at look at this dude's hand. Look at this. Look how huge that is. It looks like something you would find in Pandora from the movie Avatar. All right, but um, if I was a Pokemon, what what Pokemon would I be if I was if I look like that? So uh, right off the bat, there's Venusaur, who has like the giant flower on its back. So it could be a Venusaur. It could also be, um, what's like the huge flower Pokemon? The, the, uh, a vile plume. It could be a vile plume. Actually, wait, that looks just like this, doesn't it? Hey, wait, hold on. Yeah, wait, those are the only two that are coming to mind. I'm thinking it could be like the Pokemon that has the, like the super long neck and like its entire body is like a tree. It could be that a little bit, but I also don't really remember the name of that. So we are going to go with vile plume. I hope I got it right. Come on! Yes! Let's Let's go! I actually got it right! Oh, this is one of the few Pokemon that I remembered. This Pokemon is literally based off of one of the world's biggest flowers. This next one's going to be a two-parter. So I was told to watch a video of a seahorse, but I have to watch something else as well. Right off the, the bat, I'm thinking that um, it's either like a, like a Horsia or maybe a, like a Seedra um, or just like one of the, the seahorse Pokemon. Those are the only two that I can really think of though. So it's probably one of those two, but let me check out the second thing that I was told to look at. So the actual animal isn't a seahorse, it's a leafy sea dragon. And like that just throws me off entirely because you, you think like, hey, it's probably a seahorse, but it's not actually a seahorse. It looks just like a seahorse if a seahorse was able to have leaves on its back. How is this thing real? It looks like a really strange like evolution to a Pokemon. Like this looks more like a Pokemon than it does a real life creature. It's got some good camouflage though. What other Pokemon looks like a seahorse, but is isn't actually a seahorse. It's like, it's like half a seahorse. It has to be one of the newer Pokemon, right? Ah, uh, my brain hurts. Um, all right. So it's not Seedra. It's not Horsia. It can't be. Those are like the obvious answers. So we're going to go with, um, I can't remember it. It starts with like an S, a, a Ska, a Sculp. Is it, is it a Sculp? Scrulp, Scrulp. It's a Scrulp. 
It's gotta be a Skrelp! Sorry, I got very excited, but I think that that's gotta be it, right? If it is a Horsia, I am going to actually end this video, but I don't think it is. It's a Skrelp! No way I got that right! Let's go! I can't believe it. I like, I barely knew what this Pokemon even was. And we got it at level 45. Let's go. Next up in our list is a dinosaur. So it's not even a living creature, but supposedly these things were once roaming the earth. It's called a plesiosaur. This thing was absolutely huge. Okay, I'm trying to think. Uh, what is an ocean Pokemon that has like a bunch of flippers? Wait, it ha wait, hold up. Um, a Lapras right? It has to be a Lapras. That's the only thing that I can think of that like kind of has four flippers like that and like a pretty long neck. I'm, I'm just gonna go with it. I'm just gonna go with a Lapras. Please tell me the Plesiosaur is a Lapras. Yes, let's go. That was the quickest one that I think I got today. These things are awesome. I remember playing Pokemon games back in the day and you could just catch one of those and then ride on its back anywhere you wanted. I never really realized that it was based off of a real life dinosaur that once probably dominated the oceans. The more you know. I have never seen something like this in my entire life. So next up, we're checking out a creature called a chimera. C-H-I-M-A-E-R-A. -E chimera, right? I don't know if I'm pronouncing it correctly, but that's okay. We're, we're gonna have to just analyze the way that this thing looks and then pick a Pokemon that looks very similar. So it's a fish type Pokemon, right? But it's a very weird, peculiar looking fish type Pokemon. Like it can't be an Octillery because that would be an octopus. It can't be a, a Sharpedo because that would be based off of a shark. This is a Pokemon that looks like it lives very deep in the ocean and it has like almost like stingray fins that it moves around with, but like a really long body and like a super long nose. Like its nose is like Pinocchio's nose. It honestly could be a Huntail. That has like the same structure. I'm trying to think of like Pokemon that have like really long fish-like bodies. Um, it could also be a Relicanth. That looks almost like a fossil in the form of a fish. So maybe, but like that is so much darker looking than this. Like this has like blue and white and like some other lighter colors in its body. There's one Pokemon that I think I'm missing though. I like, I remember seeing it, it's pink, um, and it looked kind of like this. Like, it has a super long body and, like, similar fins, so, like, it could be this Pokemon, I just can't think of the name. Gore, 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 gore sounds right. It's a gore fish. Uh, Gorus, gore, gore, garbage, gore, gore, gorbis, gore fish, gore-ish, um, Gore, Gore, Gorbis. I'm gonna go with it. I think it's a Gorbis. Imagine that's just not even a Pokemon and I was just making it up. Wait, is this a love disc? Oh my gosh, wait, this Pokemon looks just like the Chimera that we were looking at. It was a Gorbis! No way! I can't believe that. Honestly, that was the luckiest guess of the day. I do not care. I will be catching it. The, the next animal is a bald cat. We have to figure out what Pokemon is a bald cat. I think it's called a Sphinx. It, it, yeah, it's a Sphinx cat. Um, they're actually super cute and adorable. Even though most people don't like them, I think that like it's kind of cool, especially just like seeing a cat that doesn't have any fur. It's great for people that have allergies. But anyway, um, that aside, what flipping Pokemon looks like that, man? Is it a Meowth? Because a Meowth is a cat Pokemon. Um, it could be a Persian, a Persian cat, kind of close to like a Sphinx cat. It could be a Del Caddy, maybe a Skitty. Actually, the Skitty would make the most sense to me, right? Like a Skitty, I think it has some fur on it, or at least it looks like it does but it's tiny and it's like white and pink, which is the same as this one. Or we go with something crazy like Espeon. Espeon, you can't really tell if it has any fur. It actually, wait, the more that I think about it, it has to be Espeon. Like I am 90% certain that it's gonna be Espeon. It has the same color. It has like ears that kind of just go straight up and are pointed just like the Sphinx cat here. So we're gonna go with it. Please be an Espeon. What? No way! No way! It's a Mew! Bro! I can't believe that! Wait! I could have gotten a Mew! Oh my gosh, bro. Wait, hold on. No. No, I... My guess was pretty good. If any of you guys guessed Mew, you guys are legends. I'm so sorry, Mew. I'm not gonna be able to add you to my team. So for this next one, we're actually gonna be learning a little bit about it. Um, yeah, we have a website, top five facts about pangolins. Pangolin means roller. So, okay, this is a pangolin. It like, it, it's basically an armadillo, but like a, a weird looking armadillo. There are apparently eight different species of pangolin. 
they are threatened and endangered. So if you guys could, uh, you know, maybe donate if you get a chance. And uh, we could try to help save all of the pangolins because they are very cute and they look kind of cuddly. Um, and I really do not want them to go endangered. Hashtag Beckbrojack for president. Pangolins are the most trafficked mammals in the world. That's insane. And it's just because of their scales. That's terrible. And they also have like huge tongues. That, that thing is, okay, that is really cute. It looks like an anteater combined with an armadillo. All right, now that we know a little bit more information about a pangolin, uh, we need to figure out what Pokemon it's based off of. And right off the top of my head, I'm gonna go with Sand Slash. It looks basically the exact same, except a Sand Slash has, I, I don't i don't think it has that long of a tongue. Well, maybe it does. We're gonna find out. Is it a Sand Slash? Heck yeah, it is. Let's go. Oh, I can't believe I got that. Get inside of my Pokeball. This next animal is terrifying, bro. It's a fish called a, a stargazer. And I don't know what it, what, like, what could that be? What Pokemon looks that disgusting? It could be a quillfish, but I think that one's more of like a puffer fish. It could also be a stunfisk, which I think is like the flat Pokemon. Um, and I think that like that one also hides, uh, especially like in Pokemon, like it's more of like a stealthy Pokemon. And I think this is kind of the same thing that the stargazers do. They just like put themselves in some sort of like surrounding area, like dirt or sand, and they just wait for something to come past and then they just grab it. It could also be a love disc. That's like the really skinny Pokemon, but this one's, I guess like a little bit f uh, bigger so maybe it's not that it could be a bruxish as well which is one of the weirdest looking pokemon like i don't know what game freak was doing when they added a, that pokemon to the game carvana is another one that like it kind of makes sense a carvana it wait no it, it doesn't it's like Mm, that one's more of a piranha. What about a Feebas? Um, all right, I'm trying to think, like, what does a Feebas look like? I think it has the same colors as the Stargazer, so it could be that, maybe, possibly. I'm gonna go with it. I just, I gotta pick something here. I'm gonna go with the Feebas. I have a good feeling about this one. Let's see. No! No way! I can't believe it! So this is the Pokemon that I thought it was. Turns out it was a Stunfisk all along, which, like, kind of makes sense a little bit. Even though the Stargazer we were looking at was not flat like the Stunfisk, uh, yeah, it has like the same exact kind of look to it. I can't believe I didn't get this thing. Number 14 is a tree frog, specifically a green tree frog. All right, it's it's a Politoed. It's gotta be a Politoed. There is really no other green Pokemon like that. There's no way that I'm wrong. Boom! Yeah, we got it, bro! It's a Politoed! This thing always kind of scared me as a child, and I'm not sure why. I can't think of any other Pokemon that looks like a Politoed. Like, what else could be a green tree frog? Comment down below if you guys have anything else that you think that that could have been. All right, so uh, number 15 is literally just two pelicans uh, swimming in a swamp. What Pokemon is a pelican? Yeah, this one's kind of easy. I, like, what else could it be other than a Pelipper? That is the only Pokemon that is, like, actually based off of a pelican in real life. They look exactly the same. We got this one in the bag. Yes, let's go. We did it. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it's literally just a pelican with like a huge mouth. Its mouth kind of looks like a toilet seat, like a golden throne. All right, I didn't do too bad. Comment down below how many you guys got right out of 15. And also leave a like and subscribe if you guys want me to do more of these.